Oh man. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm gonna react to Pentatonix with the song Mad World. That's because that's the next one in the list that I have covered as well on my channel. Um, so I'm very curious about this one. I haven't seen this one, so it will be a first reaction. Uh, that's also one of the reasons that I'm doing this one alone and because I'm gonna post this one on Fridays. But don't worry, my buddy will be here again for some other reactions uh, of pentatonics in the future as well all right so without any further ado uh, i don't know i haven't seen or heard this one of course i know the song mad world uh, but i haven't seen this video from pentatonics let's go All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Bright and early for the daily races, going nowhere, going nowhere. The tears are filling up the glasses, no expression. So far, it's very nice indeed, like in the beginning when Matt comes in with, with the bass. Um, I always get some kind of warm feeling when the bass comes in um, with Pentatonix. It's very fragile in the beginning because Scott is the only one that is singing in the beginning. Uh, then Matt comes in, but then they use like some moments where they fade in and they fade out with their voices. Uh, which sounds really great and has a good effect, uh, especially with this song. All right, let's return a little bit. Expression, no expression. Had my head, I wanna drown my. I noticed that. Um, uh, I, for I forgot. Kevin. Um, I noticed that Kevin is singing in this one as well. Uh, I assume probably uh, that in some of the other reactions that we've done, like uh, the 90s dance medley, uh, I assume he did some singing parts, but there it wasn't very apparent because there was a lot of uh, drum or el electronic beat in that as well. But here, uh, I noticed it. Very nice. <laughs> Had my head, I wanna drown my sorrow. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you. Oh man, I was surprised there. First of all, I think Matt's voice gives such a warm feel. Not only in the lower tones, but he has such a um, a gentle sound in his voice, in my opinion. Um, then, when the bass comes in, I assume that's Scott then, because uh, Matt is singing right now in the lead part. So I assume that's Scott in the background. Don't know really what the fade out effect was on the side of the video where there was some kind of person fading out to the side. I'm not really sure what that was. Sounds really good when they came in. Man. The best I've ever had. I find it hard to so tell good. you. I find it and hard he comes to back. When people run in circles Oh, so it's every time you see the person in the background fading away uh, or, or leaving, leaving a trace behind them, uh, a fade out phase uh, behind them, it's themselves? Is there some kind of reason for that? Is that because of some kind of meaning in the song? Um, that's, that's very interesting. Let's return. I 
always like it when they play with those uh, tunes where they switch up. Like there's some kind of instrumental tune that they want to uh, do or, or um, reflect with their voices. Uh, and I always like it so much when they switch it up uh, between the notes. Like uh, probably Scott had a f has a few notes for, for his own. Then uh, Christy... Uh, then maybe um, uh, Mitch or somebody else, ha they have uh, different tones and they switch it up all the time. I don't know if you know what I mean, uh, but I love it when they do that. Let's return a little. Mad world. Mad world. Oh. Children waiting for the day. Oh man! Happy birthday! Happy Goosebumps. birthday! Oh god, that was so gr such a great tra transition, which is not in the original one. There's not a, a, a key switch, I think, in the original one, as far as I can remember. But that was very nice and very uh, surprising. Uh, also, I think that's the lowest that I've heard Mitch sing so far. And from a cinematic st kind of standpoint, probably my buddy would say the same. It looks very cinematic and nice with the fore and background separation that they have um, from the camera. So you see their faces, their eyes are in focus, whilst the back of their head is already out of focus. Um, especially if it's a really uh, close-up uh, from the person. You can notice that. Man. Happy birthday, happy birthday. In to feel the way Harmonics. every child should sit and listen, sit and listen. Went to school and I was very nervous. No one knew me, no one knew me. Hello, teacher. Tell me what's my I'm wondering is Kevin able to do the bass notes as well because in this one I find it really hard to uh, to, to hear who is singing which part especially in the lower part I'm not really sure if it's Scott or Kevin that's doing the lowest notes here um, because Matt is singing on his own I'm not sure I'm not sure, just tell me in the comment section. I'm really not sure. Hello teacher, tell me what's my lesson. Look right through me. Look right through me. Here in this shot, if you see Mitch like this, you see his eyes and mouth are in focus, but his already his cheek and like beard is is out of focus that's what i mean by the separation in between four and background looks very nice very cinematic let's keep going look right through me look right through me and i find it kind of funny i find it kind of sad the dreams in which i'm dying are the best i've ever Such a nice switch up by um, by first letting Christy go uh, much higher than what you would expect uh, in this song particularly. Not really from her. I know she can go very high. Um, and then afterwards, everybody is going on the same key. Not necessarily the same tone because some are uh, higher or lower in octaves, but the, the same key. Oh man, it's, it's they have so much variation and they can can do so much with their voices, each on their own. So together they have endless possibilities um, to to do uh, songs on their from their own or or covers. Jesus, I love this. I find it hard to take when people run in circles. It's a very very mad world. Mad world. Mad world. Yes. Oh God. And 
play so nice with Jesus I loved it so much um, what, I, what I was about to say the last part they did some improv each on their own uh, which gives it their own touch again on this cover I love their dynamics their uh, harmonics uh, I don't know how to how they do it and how they uh, arrange this, but it's it's each time that you see them, it's something new. Even though you think like Mad World, it's a it's a nice song, but there's not so much variation in the song. The mood stays pretty similar the whole song, but still they are able to surprise you. That's what I can tell you. I got goosebumps again. Can't help it. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this one. I loved it so much. Uh, of course, Pentatonix, what would I have expected otherwise? Uh, for next week, uh, let's see. On Fridays, of course. Uh, let's see what song it will be. I always forget to set this screen up before I start the video. Which is kind of stupid in, on my part, but... <laughs> Let me check. Um, next week... Next week on Fridays will be Tears in Heaven. Which is actually the first time that, I, that my buddy, who does reactions with me, helped me record a video and make some kind of video clip uh, around this. So I'm very excited to do that one. I hope you guys stay tuned for that one. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Don't forget I also have other reaction videos with my buddy or on my own. And I have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out as well. So I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Mm-mm. <clears throat>